Hey guys, Rez here, another Dark Souls 3 achievement guide for you. We'll be going for Delusions of Grandeur achievement and for whom the Bell Tolls achievement. So basically, we'll be defeating Lust for the Delusions and for the whom the Bell Tolls, we gotta kill Lust without defeating you seal. So, as you'll probably know if you've gotten that far into this, or maybe not, this will be a two part boss fight with two bosses because you seal shows up, so you gotta beat Lust without killing you seal. So basically what I like to do here is I like to try to try to time these swings, which is going to be kind of erratic at times. And she just is all around, kind of a pain in the ass, one of the worst bosses in the game that I would say. So just kind of do some swings on there if you can. Just be prepared for her fast ass swinging and dodging away and jumping in the air. Now her charge attack is pretty predictable and easy to dodge. I like to just end up trying to just swing around at the sides from her. Use my flaming hollow if you can get behind her and you can deal some pretty quick damage if you dash around enough to get behind her and you can just go to town on her with that. So once you get her halfway down, you'll have this two part boss fight with you seal. Just try to keep swinging around here and dodging and just get some uh, whip attacks on her if you can, get that range and just make sure you do not take your eye off of you seal. And I like to use the lightning storm little ability here to get some extra damage on them and distract them both. And if it can hit her, I'm just trying to really pay attention to you seal here because, goddamn, that bell has some freaking range. I mean, look at my life. It just ends up messing with you so bad. So just make sure you pay attention to them and try to use your whip as much as you can on Lust. Get some few swings in here and just run away. I'm just telling you right now, just get a couple hits and run away. Couple hits, run away. Make sure that she comes at you and make sure she swings to dodge it. That way you'll be able to get a couple swings in on her essentially. And I don't know how I'm not dying here, but this is just crazy. So make sure you just pay attention to her swings and dodge them and actually make her come at you to swing on her because otherwise she will block the entire time. So make sure that she swings at you and you dodge it. Get a couple hits in and then run away. Manage to beat him without killing you seal. You'll get both of the achievements. And that should do it, guys. I'll catch you next time in my achievement guide. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I will catch you later.